Joining us, our Chesapeake hero, collision hero of the game, Sean Anderson. And as Mike and I were just talking, you know, up until the five-minute mark of the second half, you had exactly no points. <laughs> How do you stay patient in that moment? And then when you see them go man-to-man, -man, you know it's go time at that point down the stretch. Either got a bucket or you created the big one for Tom there. How do you stay patient in that moment and still allow your team to have a chance to win the game here? Yes, sir. Well, it's all about trust. Whether I'm trusting in the coaches or trusting in the guys around me. You know, sometimes I'm not going to be the emphasis of the offense. Uh, we have great guys who can score. George Cannon really stepped up. Bryce really stepped up. So when I'm not the vocal point of the offense, then I have to step up in other areas, rebounding, defensively, leadership, all those things I just have to bring in and just trust the coaches and trust the people around me, and eventually the game works out for us. Sean, as a player, you're, you're running off into the locker room at halftime, down 25. You know what coach is going to say. I mean, you've, you've played long enough in basketball where coaches, when you're down by a lot at halftime, it's a one-way conversation. I'm sure it was loud and it was whatever it was. But, but as players, you know, what did you say to each other as players? Because, you know, at, at that point to me as a former player, it's not about the coaches and what they say. It's about what you and your teammates decide to do. What did you guys say to each other going into the start of that second half? Yes, sir. Uh, Tom actually stepped up tremendously during the halftime. Uh, and he basically told the guys, you know, as a team, at some point we got to put the stick in the ground. But it starts with each individual person saying enough's enough. You know, we're a good defensive team, but we have not shown it. So if we continue to keep giving the effort we're giving, we're not going to do anything. So Tom stepped up, we started talking. Then Zach got in, and I started talking. The, the upperclassmen really took hold of the locker room and just told the guys, you know, we're going to make mistakes, but make them hard. If you're going to get beat to the basket, get beat because you closed out so hard, the guy just got by you. Right. You know, so that's something that we really needed the last couple of days. And as we saw uh, last game, we didn't have it. So we had to pick it up this game. Is that part of uh, Coach? Uh, we were talking with Coach before the game, and he talked about, you know, challenging the upperclassmen right now, you know, to, to, especially after the way things went for you all Saturday uh, at Furman. And, and what you're talking about with Tom and, and with Zach coming in, really playing some valuable minutes when Ryan was struggling tonight, is that a part of what you all are talking about with the upperclassmen trying to take, uh, you know, ownership of your locker room at that situation? Yes, sir, exactly, because we had three big seniors last year. We all know that. And between Will, Till, and Kendall, they really took care of the leadership. And we were kind of the young guys we just had to play. This year is different. We have a new team. We have a new identity. So coach is really challenging upperclassmen, and it's hard. We're not going to be perfect at it. We're going to make mistakes. But tonight was a key game for us to finally step up and really show the underclassmen this is the way we're going to play. And then, as you saw, those guys responded. I mean, Evan Wick played great. Hassan stepped up. And Ryan just has to understand, you know, sometimes you're going to struggle and the next guy is going to step up and play. But next game, if his number's called, he has to step up. Take us uh, inside that last position. I mean, you, you know, you guys, as soon as they went man, Everything isolates with you up top. What are At that point, what are you trying to identify once you gain possession of the ball at the top of the key? Yes, sir. Well, the play we ran, I'm coming up, catching, I'm driving to the right. I'm just driving to my strong hand. If the guy, if I can get him on my hip and the big guy doesn't step over, I'm laying it in. Well, the big guy stepped over. Tom Lacey does what he always does, flashes down, drop it off to him, he lays it in. Then we run the same play. I drive. Well, this time, the big man's concerned about Tom, so I get the smaller guard on my hip, finish over top of him. Pretty simple, but sometimes we make it difficult. Did, could you feel <laughs> during the course of that second half that, you know, hey, we've got a shot here? I mean, that first five minutes of the second half, I mean, you all had blown up a, a decent portion of that lead. I mean, you scored more points in the first five <laughs> minutes of the second half than you did the whole first. I mean, could you all feel like, hey, this 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 is happening and we've got a shot here? Yes, sir. And I mean, the first four minutes are always pivotal, whether it's the start of the game or the second half. And, we came out, we punched them in the face, and for a second they took a step back. But we knew they were going to respond. But once you see that initial step back, it's like, all right, we're back into this. You know, if we just keep doing what Coach says, keep getting stops, rebounding the ball, and then getting a shot, we'll be right back in this thing. All right, big fellow, great job in the second half. Great job on the win. We'll see you Friday against Columbia. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right.